At the track last month, it was announced that Kurt Busch had agreed to a one-year deal to drive for Phoenix Racing. And as we found out on Monday, it looks like it could be a win-win situation for both, that they will race this season a little under the radar. Chin down just a hair. There you go. And chin out just a bit. Kurt Busch in casual. Well, I gotta go to court. In business. And how most fans recognize him in his racing suit. Turn to the side a little bit and put one hand in the pocket. A little serious. Yep. Perhaps Monday's photo shoot at Phoenix Racing in Spartanburg is appropriate for a guy hoping to revamp an image that saw him lose his job at Penske Racing thanks in large part to off-track issues. It's happened before with me and I have to understand why those things keep happening. For me, I just have that passion to drive the car and that overshadows a lot of things. The 2004 champion has 24 Sprint Cup victories, but all of those came while driving for Roush and Penske race teams that have in excess of 200 employees. However, the Phoenix Racing Shop has 18 employees, and only 12 of those actually work on the race car. A core group of guys that has to do three to four different tasks. You know, we're on big teams, each guy is just specialized. I believe this team can do it, and you know, we're going to be that little team that could. And very early returns are very positive. In last weekend's three-day test at Daytona, Kurt clocked the fastest time, exceeding 206 miles per hour. But he also realizes that success might be measured a little differently than it has in years past, considering Phoenix Racing did not have a top 10 finish in 36 races last season. We're going to find small victories each week. I mean, we can't expect to win right away. We just have to expect to try to crack the top 20. And both Kurt and the race team hope the results will make it easier to smile, both on the track and off. Wow, that's that impressive. Stuff. That was awesome. Yeah, that